the switch button attaches to the switch actuator and is used to turn the tool on and off. The switch button is part of the switch linkage that is on the outside of the tool. Because of this, it is often accidentally damaged if the tool is dropped or if something falls on it. Replacing the switch button is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Hi, I'm Mark Socha. Do-it-yourself repairs like these are easier than you might think. From lawn machines to cordless grills, kitchen mixers, outdoor grills, our how-to videos walk you through each repair from start to finish. So doing it yourself means never having to do it alone. Let's get started. I'll begin by removing the front cover from the sander. Next I'll remove the rear cover. Now remove the brushes from the commutator. I'll lift the brush spring and pull the brush out of the holder. Then I can let the spring sit at the bottom of the holder. And I'll do this on both sides. With the brushes removed, now I can remove the two wires that go from the field back to the switches. Now I'll separate the gearbox from the motor. and I can pull the armature from the field. Now I'll remove the field from the housing. And the brush ring. Now I can remove the switch button. I'll use a screwdriver to depress the plastic tab to release it. Now I can install the new switch button. I align it with the housing so the raised portion is pointing forward. I'll tip it over, align it with the actuator link, and snap it in place. Now I'll reinstall the brush ring. I place it into the housing with the plastic tabs pointed up. I've placed it so the tabs are aligned with the screw holes in the housing. Now I'll slide the field into place, also aligning the screws with the holes in the tabs. I'll reinstall the baffle. The tab on the baffle should be up near the switch. And now I can slide the armature back into the housing. Next, I'll reassemble the motor to the gearbox assembly. Now I can reinstall the brushes. I'll pull the spring back, insert the brush into the holder, and place the spring back over the top. And I'll repeat this on the other side. I'll reconnect the switch wires to the field, the black wire on the underside, and the yellow wire on top. And now I can reconnect the rear housing to the motor housing. I'll align the switch with the actuator and align the housing, the rear housing, with the motor housing. And make sure that all of the wires are tucked out of the way. I'll reinstall the other half of the housing and secure it with the screws. And that's all it takes to install a new switch button on your power tool. Be sure to check back often for new videos and expert advice. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment.